Evan lived alone in a quiet mountain village, where life had always been tough. He lost his parents when he was young, forcing him to grow up quickly and manage on his own. Now in his 40s, he had never married, unable to afford the luxury of starting a family. To survive, he tended a small plot of land and worked as a forest ranger, patrolling the rugged mountains every other day. Though the job was dangerous and physically demanding, it wasn't just a way to make ends meet. It was something Ethan deeply loved. One cold winter morning, Ethan set out early, his boots crunching through the snow. The snow wasn't deep, but it slowed his pace, forcing him to stop frequently to catch his breath. Despite knowing he had to finish his farming chores before sunset, he pressed on through his fatigue. Eventually, exhaustion overcame him, and he sat down to rest. As he sat quietly, his ears caught faint whines carried by the wind. At first, he thought his weary mind was playing tricks on him, but the sounds persisted. Curiosity peaked, he followed the noises to a small patch of grass. There, huddled and trembling, lay a tiny tiger cub. It was weak, covered in bite marks, and one of its legs appeared broken. Ethan's heart sank at the sight of the injured cub. Initially, he hesitated, worried that its mother might be nearby. He waited quietly, hiding behind a large stone. When no one appeared after some time, he knew he couldn't leave the cub alone. He gently picked it up and carefully descended the mountain. As he reached his cottage, Ethan gently placed the cub on a makeshift bed of old clothes and quickly gathered medicinal herbs to stop the bleeding. Living all his life in the mountains had taught Ethan about herbs, he relied on them instead of costly medicines he couldn't afford. Grinding the herbs, he carefully applied them to the cub's wounds and fashioned splints from wooden sticks for its broken leg. With night approaching, Ethan realized the cub needed nourishment, but he wasn't sure what to feed it. Then he remembered his dog had recently had puppies. Hurrying outside, Ethan fetched a bowl, milked the dog, and offered the milk to the cub. Thankfully, the cub drank slowly but steadily. This gave Ethan hope as long as the cub could eat, it had a chance. He named the cub Taro. Over the following months, Taro thrived on the dog milk, growing stronger day by day. Ethan and Taro grew inseparable, the cub often joining Ethan on his mountain patrols, becoming his loyal companion in the wilderness. Over time, Taro grew into a magnificent tiger. Despite his size and strength, he kept his playful and affectionate nature, almost like a dog. However, having a tiger at home was risky, and keeping it a secret caused problems. Once people found out, it even became a legal issue. Despite Taro now being fully grown, Ethan knew it was time to let him go back to the wild, where he truly belonged. One morning, Ethan took Taro deep into the forest. Kneeling down, he gently stroked Taro's head and spoke softly to him, hoping Taro understood it was time to return to nature. Taro seemed to sense the seriousness of the moment. As Ethan turned to leave, Taro tried to follow, but Ethan, holding back tears, gently scolded him until Taro reluctantly turned and disappeared into the forest. It was a tough goodbye, but Ethan knew it was the right thing for Taro's sake and for everyone's safety. Although Ethan was sad, he knew he had to keep working hard to make a living. He continued farming and patrolling the forest every day. Little did he know, more excitement was waiting just around the corner. But before we delve deeper into the story, don't forget to subscribe and give that like button a tap. Let's continue the story. One day, while Ethan was patrolling the mountain, he suddenly collapsed. Nora, gathering firewood nearby, spotted him and rushed to his aid. She shook him until he woke up, then helped him down the mountain. Their bond grew as they spent more time together. Nora came from a poor family and left school early to support them. Her days were spent in the fields and chopping wood. Despite her hardships, her kindness and resourcefulness deeply impressed Ethan. They often ventured into the forest together, which Nora loved. Overcoming objections from Nora's family, they married when Ethan was almost 50. Together, Ethan and Nora built a joyful life. Nora assisted with farming, and they cherished each moment. Eventually, they welcomed a daughter named Olivia. As Olivia grew older, she often accompanied her father on mountain patrols. Yet, life has its challenges. One day, Ethan felt a sharp pain in his waist while patrolling and collapsed. Nora rushed to his side and managed to get him to a hospital, though it was a difficult journey. The doctor checked Ethan immediately and ran some tests. The news was devastating, Ethan's kidneys were failing. Surgery was too expensive, so Ethan decided not to pursue treatment. Back home, he relied on traditional medicine, which seemed to help at first, 
but his health eventually worsened. With Evan's health declining, Nora took over his job as a forest ranger to support their family and secure Olivia's future. One fateful day, while Ethan endured excruciating pain at home and Nora headed into the forest, a neighbor rushed in with alarming news. A fire had broken out in the forest where Nora was working. Despite his agony, Ethan summoned every ounce of courage and raced to the scene, unaware that rescue teams were already on the way. Ethan took a shortcut only he knew, searching desperately for Nora amidst the growing chaos of smoke and flames. His heart pounded with fear, but he refused to give up. As he scanned the area, he saw smoke billowing in the distance, a sign of the spreading fire. Time was running out. Trapped and surrounded by the advancing flames, Ethan faced a terrifying predicament. Just when he felt overwhelmed by the heat and smoke, a miracle happened. Out of the haze emerged a familiar figure. It was Taro, the tiger Ethan had rescued years ago. Recognizing Ethan's distress, Taro instinctively approached and nudged him, urging him to follow. With strength he didn't know he had, Ethan grasped onto Taro's guidance, trusting the bond they shared. Despite Ethan's initial fear, he followed Taro through the burning forest. At one scary moment, a burning tree fell and trapped Ethan. Without hesitation, Taro, now a strong tiger, came to help him, freeing Ethan and guiding him to safety. Though saddened by not finding Nora, Ethan focused on escaping the flames. Guided by Taro, he made it back home, where he was shocked to find Nora safe. She tearfully explained how she had fled the fire, unaware Ethan had gone back to look for her. Grateful for her safety, Ethan couldn't stop thinking about Taro's bravery. Despite his efforts to keep Taro from returning to the flames, the tiger vanished into the smoke. Ethan's survival story, along with Taro's heroic actions, captivated many. With support from a generous organization, Ethan received a kidney treatment and fully recovered. The bond that saved his life left a lasting impact on his family. Today, Ethan, Nora, and their daughter Olivia treasure their lives together, forever grateful for Taro's role in their story. What an incredible story! If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. See you in the next video.